Welcome to tonight, this evening's 20th Glossop Lecture. My name's Tracy Radford, I'm a Chief Engineering Geologist and Practice Manager at Atkins, and I'm also Chair of the Engineering Group. And on behalf of the Engineering Group, I'd like to welcome you all to the Royal Institution. In our audience tonight, we have a number of past Glossop lecturers, Engineering Group Chairs, and members of the Glossop family, so welcome to you. I would also like to thank our industry sponsors for this evening, and this includes ACOM, Atkins, BCG Engineering, Fugro, GEA, Geotechnical Engineering, Jacobs, Sequent, Socotech, and Soil Engineering, because without them, this event would not be able to take place. We have two presentations tonight, one from our Glossop Award winner, to be followed by our Glossop Medal Lecture, to be given by Professor Jean Hutchinson. And in addition, we'll be making a presentation with the Engineering Group Award. But before we start, a bit of a reminder, we've got no fire alarms are scheduled, so if you hear the alarm, please do leave by the nearest exit, which are highlighted by the green signs, and then congregate out onto Albemarle Street, and then we have to go around the corner. There will be staff on hand from the Royal Institution to guide us. Please do embrace social media and tweet and post on LinkedIn, but please make sure that your mobile phones are set to silent. Now, I was reminded yesterday by John Davis of GCG that today is the 212th anniversary of the founding of the Geological Society of London, where 13 founding members had dinner at the Freemasons Tavern in Covent Garden, and the meeting resolved that they forthwith institute a geological society for the purpose of making geologists acquainted with each other, of stimulating their zeal, of inducing them to adopt one nomenclature, of facilitating the communications of new facts and of ascertaining what is known in their science and what remains to be discovered. And I think that this statement holds true to the aims and purpose of this evening. So I ask you to consider this in terms of have you succeeded in these aims, of being acquainted with each other, and perhaps even talking to somebody previously unknown to you, stimulating their zeal by engaging in conversation to discuss the new facts which we will no doubt learn this evening, and finally consider what we can do with this newfound knowledge and where it can lead us next. But now on to the proceedings. So last year, I spoke about how we had revamped the Glossop Award, and I'm pleased to say that the entries this year came in from a wider group from across our industry, and not just those working at consultants. And I will continue to encourage all of those in the early stages of the career to apply, whether from academia, industry, contractor, consultant, or other, because all your thoughts and views are equally valid. The topic this year followed the themes discussed at the Engineering Group Conference, that of communication of risk and opportunity in engineering geology. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our Glossop Award winner, Tom St. John of Mott MacDonald. <laughs> 